morning, good morning, and welcome to my vlogmas. My name is Malena. I am a Danish knitter coming to you from the northern part of Denmark, where we have snow, and even more since last time I talked to you guys. I'm sorry for the disheveled look this morning. I got home really late from the concert last night, and um, yeah, so I'm just sitting here in my chair, cozying up with my tea of the day, um, organic black Christmas tree, Christmas tree. <laughs> it's an organic black Christmas tea. Holy, why is that so hard to say Christmas tea? Chris I might need a Christmas tree in my life. That might be why. And there's cat. <laughs> I am getting ready to go out and drive in the snow, it's not my favorite, because my daughter, my oldest, Augusta, who is at boarding school, or after school as we call it, um, she is sick today. And uh, since it is a Friday, she gets to go home a bit earlier. So, mommy to the rescue, I'm going to go pick her up, have her home for some TLC, and I can't wait to see her. I saw her last weekend, but you know, a mama without her babies. Mm. Yeah. Today I'm wearing knitting inside, not because it's cold, but just because it's cozy. This is one of my, oops, one of my favorite shawls. It's so nice and big. It is the Scrappy Shawl by 50 Fabulous, Pia. She also has a podcast. She is a Danish knitter, but she does podcast uh, in English as well. So I think every other episode is Danish and every other is English. So go check her out. It's, let me take it off so I can show you just a tiny bit of it anyways. It's really big. So you have the stripes right here. Scrappy stripey shawl. Is that what it's called? Or just scrappy shawl? Whatever it is, the, the, the pattern will be laid below. So I used all kinds of scraps. I like that. You saw that in my socks of the day yesterday. And then you use, I think I used about one and a half skein, something like that, like 120 grams, 130 grams, something like that. And like, because when the shawl ends, there's like a triangle and then you fill it out with a square and you have a big, huge, amazing, wonderful shawl that you can cozy up in. Just like this. It is my favorite or one of my favorites. Do you guys know that? Like when you put on a shawl and you think this is my favorite and then you put on another shawl and it's like, this is my favorite. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> but I just wanted to check in with you guys, say hello and welcome and thank you so much for being here. Um, I've had so many kind, wonderful comments the last couple of days uh, from new subscribers. I am blown away <laughs> by you guys and what this knitting community can do. It's amazing. I love hearing from you. And some of you tell me where you're writing from. That is so exciting. Spain, California, Israel, um, Scotland, Holland, Australia, just to mention a few. That is so exciting. I love getting together like this, you guys. It makes me so happy. So thank you so very, very, very much for being here. Wow, it's amazing. Knitting is cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, well, I will drink my tea, do something with my hair so my teenager don't get all embarrassed when I go pick her up, and then I'll go do that. And um, if I don't talk to you guys again today, thank you. Just really thank you i appreciate you guys it's amazing that you're here i will show you more footage from today but if i don't get to talk because i am embarrassed because my family's watching me talking to my phone 
<laughs> then I will put on some music and show you pictures. So thank you and have an amazing Friday. Before I go pick up Augusta, I just want to show you my socks of the day. I needed a little pick-me-up color-wise today, something festive. I am tired after the concert last night. We got home really late because of the snow. I might have said that already. So here are the socks of the day. Look at these colors, you guys. They're so amazing. I have worn these a lot and still the yarn is really, really nice. It's a plain vanilla sock. The yarn is from the Danish Yarn Dyer uh, by Kielerik. I will link her shop down below. Her name is Hen Henrietta. She's very, very talented and very, very nice. I really enjoyed knitting these. The way it, it stripes is just, I think that's so cool. Did I tell you the color name? It is color of joy, which is perfect if you ask me. And here's a very comfy girl waiting for her best friend to come home. Those two just love each other. So I'm pretty sure that they're going to be spooning all weekend. <laughs> I am heading out the door to go pick up the teenager. I will see if I can film just a little bit um, of the road there. I without using my phone while driving. So I'll like pull into the side, put on the camera and then pull back out, pull back out. Good job, Melina. Um, I did something with my hair. Not that it looks that different, but at least I could say that I did something. I put on my face and um, yeah. So I'll take you along. I'm pretty sure you won't see the teenager because she does not like to be on camera and I will respect that. She is 16 and should be up to her if she wants to be on camera. So here I go out in the snow. I put on my socks as you will have seen and my scarf, shawl, shawl, my shawl, yeah. And my big cozy jacket and I'm ready to go. back in the basement my little creative space this is where I go when I sew and I have my as you saw the other day I have my yarn in here I have some scrapbooking supplies I have some fabric all kinds of things I I like creative stuff but today I'm here because I am making a present for a very special little girl that I have met through one of my knitting friends she is just an amazing little girl and she loves little small lavender lavender pouches like these. I make them and they come with the, the project bags that I sew. And um, she found one of her moms and apparently it's really nice for her to like hold them in her hand and cuddle them. So I'm making her some more. So I got out this one. leftover little scraps, little pieces of fabric. So I'm gonna see what I can put together and 
make her a little box of lavender pouches. I will show you what I've come up with when I'm done. All right, so here's what we got. 11 little pouches filled with lavender made from scraps. So they're all kinds of different sizes. Of course, a little kitty. It has a, can you, can you tell that it has like a knitted sweater on? I think that's so cute. So yeah, all kinds of different themes. This one is my favorite with the popcorn. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to get these packed up and send off to a very special little friend. My face is all red. I am tired today. And I put on lots of knitwear because I was cold upstairs, but now I'm downstairs and we have the floor heating. So with the knitwear and the, yeah, the socks and everything, I'm all kind of blushed. So I'm going to go sit, have something cold to drink, go sit in my chair and knit for a little bit before the whole family comes home. You have seen that I went to, I went to pick up Augusta she has a really bad head cold, but she is going to be okay. She is chilling on the couch with the kitty. I don't know who is happiest, <laughs> the cat or her. That cat just loves her and it's just, she loves her right back. So that's so nice. But knitting time for me and um, yeah. <laughs>